The Renaissance is a time period that was marked by many positive developments. It was a time of great creativity, exploration and innovation. The Renaissance began in Italy in the 14th century and lasted for about 300 years until the beginning of the 16th century. During this time period, people began to express themselves through art and literature. They explored new ideas about science, philosophy and politics. Artists like Leonardo da Vinci became famous during this era because they drew on their experiences in creating original artwork using techniques such as perspective drawing which allowed them to create realistic images that could be used to represent landscapes or even people themselves. The Renaissance was a cultural movement that began in Florence, Italy. This was home to the Medici family and other notable Renaissance artists such as Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. Spreading throughout Europe, the Renaissance was a time of great intellectual change and achievement. It saw the decline of medieval ways of thinking and the rise of modern science. The Renaissance crossed the Alps into France, where it was influenced by the Middle Ages more than by Italy. A time of cultural and intellectual renewal, French Renaissance artists were less concerned with art and more concerned with politics, religion and social issues. In 1559, the year after Catherine de Medici's death, King Henry II appointed his brother Francis as governor of France so that he could keep an eye on him and also because Francis was considered a good Catholic monarch who would support Catholicism in France. In 1574-1575, the Wars of Religion, Francis I championed the Catholic League against Huguenots. He died during this conflict in 1574 at age 52. In England it was brought by Henry VII, who had come to the throne in 1509 after defeating Richard III at Bosworth Field. He was a patron of the arts and supported artists such as William Shakespeare and Christopher Marlowe. He also encouraged scholars to travel abroad for study, which resulted in many returning with new ideas that influenced their work here at home. Henry VIII continued this tradition by supporting artists like Hans Holbein, who painted portraits, and Nicholas Hilliard, who created fine bindings. Elizabeth I also became a patron of the arts. She collected paintings from Italy as well as prints from Germany and Holland. The Spanish Renaissance was a time of great learning and artistic inspiration. While the Italian Renaissance was happening in Florence, Italy, Spain saw its own golden age. Spain was home to many artists and intellectuals who traveled from place to place looking for inspiration from all over Europe. The Spanish Inquisition was another important factor in shaping this period of history. This religious organization controlled people's thoughts by punishing those who did not follow their rules or beliefs on what could be said or done within society. It did not matter if you were a Spaniard or not, if you didn't follow strict laws that had been set up by the church then it would be considered an offense punishable by death. This type of strictness wasn't limited just within one country either. Explorers such as Christopher Columbus started traveling across oceans looking for new land masses on which they could settle down once again after being expelled from their native countries. They found these lands instead upon which they built cities such as Havana so that they could live out their days peacefully together with other fellow Europeans living there too. The Renaissance spread throughout Northern Europe. The Renaissance began in Italy, but by the 15th century it had spread to Germany, the Netherlands, Poland, and Sweden. In Russia there was a revival of Orthodox Christian thought and practice under Ivan III. 1462-1505. The invention of the printing press was a major cause for the Renaissance and its cultural impact. Previously, books were expensive and hard to come by, but with the printing press, books could be mass-produced at an affordable price. This made them more accessible and easier to read. In addition to this, many new ideas from different parts of Europe were brought together in one place. Scholars traveled back and forth across Europe to share their knowledge with others. This led to cross-pollination between cultures as well as increased contact between them which might have been useful if there was any war. The Renaissance was a time of great change in the arts, sciences, politics and religion. It brought ideas of learning and new technology to Europe that would change its culture forever. A rebirth of classical learning, which had been lost during the Middle Ages, led to what we now refer to as the Renaissance. This rebirth was sparked by several factors, increased interest in ancient Roman poetry, rediscovery of lost works such as Aristotle's poetics, reinterpretation of biblical stories using humanist ideals, human beings are created equal, development of new sciences such as astronomy or anatomy, exploration by land and sea routes beyond Europe, Asia Minor, where they had previously been confined within its confines due to lack of knowledge about geography outside Europe itself at this time period until Columbus arrived upon Hispaniola Island bringing back tales about its exotic cultures living there too. The Renaissance was a time of great change in Europe, and it's important to remember that we still live in the world that it created.